1957, the Soviet Union launched the Sputnik 1 satellite into orbit. The world's first spacecraft inspired both the dream of humanity reaching the stars and the fear that the Soviet military would somehow use outer space to dominate the Earth. Since that time, space technology has become part of our everyday lives. Satellites and other spacecraft have changed the way people communicate and the way we see the planet. They are bringing humanity closer together while allowing us to see and explore distant worlds. New space vehicles are being developed today which will transport us further, faster, and more easily into the heavens than ever before. But along with all of the possibility and promise that has accompanied humanity's journey into space, fear also remains. Space technology is changing the way wars are fought on Earth, and the American military is developing a new generation of weapons that could one day be used in outer space. Will our future in outer space be one of cooperation or confrontation? In this episode of America's Defense Monitor, it's a race for the ultimate high ground. America's Defense Monitor, television for changing times. Like the permanent traces of astronaut Neil Armstrong's walk on the moon, humanity continues to leave its imprint on the heavens. Today, many of the brightest lights in the night sky are the more than 2,000 spacecraft orbiting our planet. These satellites, Interplanetary probes and other spacecraft serve a long and growing list of purposes in our lives on Earth. Satellites provide instant access to worldwide broadcasting and communications. They detect weather patterns, assisting in agriculture and in the early warning of severe storms. They can sense subtle changes in the Earth's environment and the ozone layer which protects it. Imaging satellites give us new ways to see our world, while space probes and telescopes open the doorway to new ones. Space has also become a big business. Building, launching, using, and maintaining these spacecraft will generate nearly $100 billion in revenue in the year 2000. With an ever-growing number of industries using satellite technology, outer space is fast becoming a vital economic resource. Over the past 40 years, space technology has also helped the United States military develop a dazzling array of warfighting capabilities. The same rocket technology used to launch satellites into orbit can be used to wipe out entire populations with nuclear missiles. The same global positioning system, which helps people navigate the seas, highways, and wilderness areas, guided American bombs and missiles to their targets in the Persian Gulf and the former Yugoslavia. Information from satellite images, everything from enemy movements to the latest weather conditions, gives the U.S. military a decisive edge in almost any battle. I think it's increasingly clear that American military space systems are really the thing that's unique about American superpower. John Pike is the director of the Space Policy Project at the Federation of American Scientists and a leading independent expert on military space programs. According to Pike, it is the ability to use space technology that sets the U.S. military apart. 
Other countries have airplanes, other countries have nuclear weapons, uh, but the United States is really the only country that has the sort of information dominance that we achieve through our military communications, navigation, weather, uh, and spy satellites. Space has become such an important dimension of war that the U.S. Army, Navy, and Air Force each have their own space command. The budget for American military space programs is more than $8 billion per year. But while the United States may be the most visible power in outer space, it is by no means alone. Our reliance on outer space is growing. He Yafei is a senior diplomat at the Chinese Embassy in Washington, D.C. For China, of course, we want, first of all, want to develop ourselves into a modern country. We use satellites a lot, telecommunication, remote sensing, weather forecasting, and meteorology uh, forecasting. And also nowadays, I believe uh, a lot of scientific experiments are done in outer space, not to speak of uh, our exploration into the universe. So really, that's a very important area uh, of our economic activities. China may see its space program as an economic necessity, but some American political and military leaders see other countries' use of outer space as a potential threat. Well, I think that when the American military looks at all the neat things they can do in space, they're justifiably concerned that maybe somebody else might be able to do those neat things as well.